Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Electro BIM by Design Master. If you'd like to follow along, links to the tutorial project and written tutorial are available in the description below. Over the course of these videos, you'll learn how you can use Electro BIM to perform various tasks in Revit, such as creating your single line diagram, modifying panels and other distribution equipment, managing branch circuits and devices, performing calculations like fault and voltage drop, coordinating overcurrent protective devices, and updating your project customization. For this first video, we'll start by looking at a few basic ElectroBIM concepts. Throughout ElectroBIM and our learning resources, there are two terms we use that will probably be new to you. The first is distribution equipment. This refers to any device that distributes power throughout your system. So that means panels, transformers, switchgear, generators, bus ducts, transfer switches, anything that is providing power to devices further down in the system. If your device is defined in Revit as an electrical equipment, and its part type is set to panel board, other panel, transformer, or switchboard, ElectroBIM will see it as a distribution equipment. The second term is branch circuit device. This refers to the devices that are receiving power at the ends of your system. In other words, your receptacles, light fixtures, motors, mechanical equipment, and so on. Revit devices that are defined as electrical fixtures are considered branch circuit devices, as well as any mechanical equipment that include an electrical connector. Electrical equipment with part type set to equipment switch are also treated as branch circuit devices. It's important to know what these terms mean because the steps you need to take to set up a device in ElectroBIM depends on whether it's a distribution equipment or a branch circuit device. We'll go into more detail when we introduce those workflows later on. Next, we're going to talk generally about how you make changes to your Revit model when using ElectroBIM. When you're using standard Revit, you would select the device or circuit you want to modify, then find the parameter in Properties and make the change. Or you would go into Revit Schedules and make changes directly from the schedule. In the vast majority of cases, this does not work when you are using ElectroBIM. With our add-in, you make the changes using the appropriate edit command, and the values are then reported to the corresponding parameter. This interaction is one way only. If ElectroBIM writes a value to that parameter, and the parameter is then changed directly, Sooner or later, ElectroBIM will overwrite that value with the last known value that was written into ElectroBIM. For example, if you use ElectroBIM to set a breaker size, it outputs to Revit's rating parameter. If you change it directly, then run an ElectroBIM command, it will revert to the last known value. Similarly, you cannot make stable changes to labels on the single line by changing parameters directly. The values on the graphics are informed by values set on the corresponding device in the model, so any lasting changes to the single line must be made using ElectroBIM commands. That will make the change on the device, which will then carry over to the single line. Something to note, when you first install ElectroBIM, it will not overwrite circuit descriptions specifically. We understand change is tough, and you may not want to set circuit descriptions using our add-in immediately. So we disable that functionality until you're ready. We'll look at how you can enable and use that feature in a later video. Those are the basic concepts you need to be aware of when using ElectroBIM. In the next video, we'll dive into creating a single line diagram for a project that is already in progress. See you there.